Hey everybody, let's make it pop. Today in the learning unit pops, we're gonna, we're gonna make a pop-up that's an insect or an arthropod. And today's pop is a rhinoceros beetle. Ooh, these guys are really big. So rhinoceros beetles are huge insects. They're about six inches long. So ooh, I wouldn't want that to land on my ice cream, would you? Rhinoceros beetles are actually a part of the scarab beetle family. Now scarab beetles are the ones that you always see in Egyptian art and they're always rolling around those dung balls. Uh, but rhinoceros beetles are just related to that. And lastly, rhinoceros beetles, uh, it seems like only the males uh, have those big horns. So uh, the ladies, I don't know what they have, but um, the, the guys, they have those really big horns that make them look kind of like rhinoceros. Let's make our very own pop-up rhinoceros beetle. All right, what do we do first? Well, like always, we print out the uh, templates onto cardstock. Very simple. Um, and you print them out. There's two pages of it. And you're going to see there's two types of lines. There's a solid black line and there's a, a, so, a black dotted line. The dotted line is where we're going to score. We're going to use a ruler and a paper clip. And we're going to rub the edge of that paper clip along each one of those dotted lines. Those, and that's going to score. That's going to make it a lot easier for us to fold the paper. And you can see there's a lot of different fold lines throughout our templates here to make our pop-up rhinoceros beetle. By the way, these are not my hands. These are Kirsten, my helper's hand. Hi, Kirsten. How you doing? She's, she's, she gives me more than one hand. She gives me two. Oh, I tell that joke every single time. The solid black lines are actually where we're going to cut. So we're just going to follow along with our scissors and cut out all those pop-up pieces very carefully with our scissors. And you can even move the paper to uh, follow along those lines. You can see that, she, that when Kirsten actually does it, she actually moves the paper. Rather than moving her scissors, it's a lot easier to cut out all these pieces. Rhinoceros beetles are pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if I could have one as, as a pet, but I know that there are some people in the world who do keep them as pets. All right, we've cut out all the pieces. Now we're gonna pre-fold all of our pop-up pieces. So we're gonna fold that right down the center there of the base page just like that. And because we scored it with our paper clip, it's a lot easier to fold. We're gonna fold this piece here, just like that. And we're just pre-folding it so it knows which way the, um, the, the pop-up is supposed to go. So let's see here. I'm gonna fold this this way. And what's cool about this is once we've built our pop-up, we can color it and decorate it. We could even add more facts about um, rhinoceros beetles or any other kind of insects and arthropods and decorate our whole card here. So. What I want to do with, with the learning units is we, we can learn about different creatures and then we can make a pop-up of it. Isn't that cool? Because I love learning stuff. I do. I really, really do. So we folded all these pieces just like this. Look at that. That's how it folds. And now we're going to put it together. Let's get some glue. We're going to need some craft glue. And see these big gray areas here. You can see the shape of one of the tabs and that big gray area there for glue A here, glue B, glue B here. So we're going to put, that's where that tab goes. Obviously it's shaped like that and that one goes there. So let's put some glue in those gray areas. Look at that. And make sure you don't just like, you know, squirt a big glob of glue in there. You know, you kind of be careful. Take your time. Don't, don't overdo it. Yeah, just like that. See how she kind of paints it in that space? And she doesn't overdo it, so there isn't a giant puddle of glue. Because if you use too much glue, your pop-up will just stick to itself and it'll never open. And you'll be like, oh, Matthew, why, why is my pop-up not popping? It's because it's glued together, so be real careful. All right. We're going to glue that tab down just right like that. And let's look on the other side. We're going to glue that tab down just in place because it fits. See, look at it. See that shape? That tab fits right down. And make sure that that center line there is is uh, lined up and also um, make sure that you glue it flat see how that's nice and flat and let it dry for a minute now once that piece is dried we are gonna glue this shape this see this piece this piece is gonna go where is it gonna go it's gonna go right there see how that that's C we're gonna put a little glue within that triangle just right there just on that side not the whole thing just where Kirsten glues it in there. There we go. Just like that. Now what do we do with this piece? We place it in there just like this. See how she's done that? Where it just fits within that triangle. It doesn't go over the edge. It just fits right there. See that, that corner fits just like that. See how that kind of folds like that? 
there we go, it folds over and it's just like that. And what's gonna happen in a minute when we close the pop-up, you'll see how that piece moves. Now, we're gonna take this head here. See that shape? That's gonna line up right there. Look at that, that's gonna line up that bottom part of the head. We put some glue on this folded over part of this piece, just within that space. Now watch, the edge, the bottom edge of the head, watch it, it fits exactly. See how that bottom part fits right, just right there. I'm gonna glue it just down, press it down. Make sure that it only glues to that one area. Now watch when it opens and closes, watch. It's gonna rotate actually, there's a rot, that's what that pop-up uh, mechanism is called, it's called a rotator. And now look, the head of our rhino beetle, rhinoceros beetle, goes up and down. It's almost like he's gonna lift something up. And we know it's a he, right? Because it has a horn. And you can decorate it, you can color. We actually added some lines in there so you can get just an idea of what, but you can decorate it any way you'd like to. You can add some facts, you can put some words in there, and you've got your very own pop-up rhinoceros beetle. Hope you've enjoyed this, and we've got more learning units coming. So be sure to hit like and subscribe down below, and um, if you hit the bell, you'll be notified any other time we have a new video coming up. we got a couple every week. So see you next time, everyone. Let's make it pop.